What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Got a little tip and trick video for y'all, man. I am going to do my best to explain this, and I hope to God there are some offensive line coaches who can go in a little bit more detail. And guys, once we get our hands on the game, I can really go into practice and let you know, because I don't know which protection he's picking on some of these, but we'll try our best to break it down, okay? Scott O'Gallagher tweeted this out. I'm in the lab with my USC Trojans. Here's an example of the new pass protection schemes and controls hold LB and L1 to bring them up. I highly recommend experimenting with these. The targeting art updates in real time so understand that now i do want to uh read um um some concepts here or go over some concepts so you have empty full slide base max protect half slide and then double team so in an empty there's no check releases okay the offensive line is mainly responsible for inside gap any unblocked rusher has the longest path to the quarterback okay if a tackle has to choose between b gap or c gap he will choose b gap the key on that is any unblocked rusher has the longest path to the quarterback now going through these particular schemes uh that would be th not that one let me back up i'm sorry this one would really be your empty set okay why because we have a unblocked rusher right here okay and then there's no check releases okay a check release is this right here the center and the guard are going to double team on the one technique right here and they're going to check this backer if he's coming then they're going to release the center is probably since he's on the inside shade he's going to release somebody's going to release to pick up this backer if he's not coming there's no need to release does that make sense okay and then you have um so that this one here i believe is the empty set because you don't have a the unblocked rusher is the lar longest path to the quarterback now, i know that looks weird because you can say well it's here maybe that quarterback is rolling out to the left maybe he's sliding to the left maybe he's coming here therefore this path is going to be longer you know i'm not sure because i can't see what the offensive uh play art is all right and then uh, after that one, you have this is what's called a full slide, okay? All offensive linemen are responsible for left or right gap. In this case, they're responsible for the right gaps, okay? The running, the running back is responsible for the gap opposite the offensive line. So the offensive line, are they're all sliding right, all right? Everybody slides right, and they, they're protecting that particular gap. The running back, he's responsible for backside. This is good against um, rollouts. If the quarterback is rolling out to the to the right in this instance, if he's doing a rollout play, you may want to do a slide blocking scheme. Okay. Uh, the pros is the gaps are sound because everybody's responsible for a gap and not a man. It's not so much a man. I know you see the arrows going to a man, but that's because these are the guys that are probably attacking these gaps. They were more responsible for a gap. The cons, the running back basically locked into a protection and not in a route. Okay, he's not able to run a route because he was responsible for this backside protection. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, going to the next one. All right, this is just really another, um, another empty, empty check, if you will. Now, this one isn't empty. This isn't empty. Empty is whenever they're they're releasing one of these guys. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one of these that this one is. They're double teaming. It's the same concept as the previous play. The first one that we saw, they're double teaming the one technique. Uh, but this time they're going to release. They're going to release. If this might now, th if this mic is coming, he's going to release. Okay. He's going to release this, the, possibly the guard because he's closest going to release and go to the next level and block this mic if he drops back in coverage then they just maintain the double team okay i i, I couldn't tell you if this one is um em it's not empty because in empty you have uh there's no there's no check releases so this could be base but looking at what they have here the options you know they you have the backer blocking this back and then you have him blocking that one you know what i'm saying so i i don't know everybody else is doing the exact same thing so it's not a half slide left or a half slide right 
I wanted to say that maybe this is what the double team looks like, but you're going to see later on he actually pulls up the double team window because you have to actually select who you want to double team. And then I thought it was ID and the mic, but ID and the mic, you have to go through the same process. So I'm interested to see what this is. It, one of them could be base, and then the other one could be uh, max protect. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is the one I'd have to go into the game and actually see what it is that he's doing. One of them is base. One of them is max protect. Okay. Right here, you have a half slide. Why? Because half the line is sliding. Okay. In this instance, half slide to the left. It's telling the left half of the line to slide. Okay. They're slide protecting to the left. Okay. He's sliding here. He's responsible for him. He's responsible for him. Okay. Okay. Everybody else is still responsible for the backside responsibilities. All right, half slide right. Bam, 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 bam. You might say, well, if it's supposed to be half, then why is he sliding? Because if he slides here, this is just his guy to block, okay? I don't know why they make him slide on this particular play, but it's probably because he's inside shade of, um, of the guard right here. All right, and then the last part, this is what I'm talking about with the double team. Now they actually have double team pulled up. ID and the mic would be the same thing. So those other two plays with their double team and the one technique and releasing, I really think one of them is match protect and one of them is base. That's my guess. I would have to wait and get into the game to see for sure. But, you know, I can at least give y'all some kind of information on these things. Now the double team left or right, you're just picking who, who you want to double team okay if it's this guy right here these two guys are going to double team all right if they um slide it to the left right here then guess who's going to double team the guard and the tackle they're going to double team doesn't make sense for anybody over here to go on a double team okay if it's right here okay then a few options can happen i mean it, it's your center your center and your guard right here could double team or you can have your guard and your tackle double team this guy and have your running back pick up the defensive end. You generally don't want your running back picking up a defensive end on a block, though. So it would make more sense for the center and him to double team. He blocks down. He blocks him. He's responsible for backside and he blocks him. All right. So I don't know, guys. Let me know what y'all think. If there's an offensive lineman coach on the channel that's a five star willing to give a little bit more insight on this, it would be amazingly great, guys. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I am working but guys, I get off work at about three o'clock. All right. We are in the process of moving. We're in the process of cleaning. We started cleaning today. Um, I think my wife should be finishing up cleaning while I'm at work tomorrow so that when I get home, guys, I can stream some college football. And I was really thinking of how I wanted to do that. I'm kind of thinking, let me get y'all some B-roll footage. I, I'm kind of thinking that I want to um, stream for a little bit. And then get off a of stream and start making some tips and trick videos to kind of catch up with these other content creators because I got a lot of tips and trick stuff that I want to put out because I want to help some people as much as I can with the game as far as playbooks and schemes and things like that. Try to get that stuff put out for people. That way, you know, the people that didn't get, get the deluxe edition, who's getting the regular edition, who still hasn't decided on the team, who still hasn't decided on the playbook can do that. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, man. Guys, we are less than 20. We are far less than 24 hours away from playing college football 25. This is an amazing day, guys. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.